All right, hello, welcome. My name is Jason Welsh, and I'm going to take you on a journey into Maya texture baking and how to use it to produce very, very cool, clean results, texturizing an item very quickly. Um, the only thing is I'm going to run through a little bit more here also. I'm going to be running into the UVs of it all. So here I have a knife, okay? This knife will have no UVs because I'm going to screw them all up. There we go. And in here, in object mode, I can see the UVs by going into Window UV Texture Editor. There's my UVs. Okay, now if I go into the top view, kind of look at this knife. It's made of steel, iron, leather, and iron again. Okay, I separated it mentally with the materials. So what I'm going to do here is separate its UVs by materials also. By going into face mode, highlighting all the faces that go or correspond to the steel part of it, and then going over here to create UVs automatic mapping. Okay, it looks like I got a little bit too much, but that's okay. I can pick that up. So let's go to the UVs. Highlight just the blade here. and then move that off the map. Okay, UVs, highlight this, move it off the map. Okay, these two little items are actually part of a different shell. So I'm going to hold control, right click on them, go to two shell and move them back onto the grid. Okay, next let's highlight uh, the handle. Let's see how that works. Go to face, and go in here and highlight all the faces that make up that handle. Okay, again, let's go in here and do an automatic mapping. Okay, grab all the UVs and then go to the move tool and move them off the map. Now there's a hot key for the move tool. I'm just not using it in the video. So R E W. Okay, W is move, E is to rotate, R is to scale. What's left over here is all the UV faces that I need to do the last projection. So I can go in here to go face, grab these, and quickly go in here, create UVs, automatic mapping, finishing out all my shells. I would highly suggest you go into Blender and use the UVW creation utility there. Blender is free. I have a video for it somewhere online. Just type in Can Mushrooms uh, Blender or Jason Welsh Blender. Okay, let's scale these down. What I'm going to do here is scale all these and move them all back to the square. Okay, just like that. And then move these scale them down. So the less waste on this little square right here, the higher the texture resolution appears. So you might want to scale these up as much as you can, move them close to each other, and don't waste as much space as possible. That includes just going in here and kind of messing around. I would always scale uniformly. Don't scale like this. That's bad. Okay, things that you can do in here to kind of improve stuff with the bake is to fix stuff like this. See these little fragments that came off here? Um, you do that by going into Edge, highlighting the two edges. See down here, these two magically appear, and then I can do a sew. Okay, again, and this is a sew and move, so I'm going to sew and move these. I'm going to keep doing that until I build up this area that Maya could not figure out. Just like that. Here's another little tip right here. I have these same little pieces. If I highlight them, just like that, you'll see that other pieces of the shell actually get highlighted also, right? So what I want to do is make sure only one shell gets highlighted. Here, I have these highlighting. 
So that means over here, I see a couple more. If I hold control and do a box select in that area, it will deselect them. Again, over here, I see these. Hold control, box select, gets rid of those. So that means I have the original shell left over, and I can just do a move and sew and get rid of those tiny fragments and put them back into a whole shell. Good. Now you can spend all day doing that. Uh, for this bake, it'll actually work quite well without worrying about you know each and every part being part of its own. Uh, the, all the shells can, contained within each other without any seams. You'll you'll see hardly any seams with this workflow. Okay, so that is part one, uh, making UVs. So we'll go on to part two, where I bake out um, a map and show you how to use that map to texturize the item.